absolutely mortified. Uh, she was embarrassed. 18 year old man and a girl aged 15 have died. Right, so so just be uh, 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 in uh, uh, Just be comfortable. David Cameron says G8 leaders have agreed to stop ransom payments to terrorists. Um, there should be Prime a step immediately if you call to say they're at the right, just stop behind the right side. Right. Sure. Uh, I'm here to serve in any way, so uh, I feel like I'm from history or something. <laughs> 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 Sports and Newcastle have confirmed they've appointed Joe Kinnear as the club's new director of football and he signed a three-year deal. And the Lions have lost for the first time in this year's Rugby Union Tour of Australia. They've been beaten 14-12 by the Rugby's in Canberra. The Lions take on Australia in the first okay, Just a bit to go here. That's the latest. I'm Tim Jones. And that was the news. Uh, we're back on. Uh, I'm Joe McCarthy and this is Ridge Radio. Now, we have a special guest star in today. Uh, James. Stephen. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's the second time I've done that. It's all right, James. Stephen, Stephen, <laughs> Stephen Martinez, uh, who is uh, a fantastically talented fella. And he could also beat the living hell out of me if I if I annoy him, um, because he's what uh, fifth down, fifth down in taekwondo. taekwondo, bloody hell. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, now anyway, <laughs> Stephen is part of a band called the Brendan Bean uh, Band. Now they were playing at the Whiteleaf Inn last week. Uh, Whiteleaf Inn is one of our sponsors. Sorry, Whiteleaf Tavern. Now they're actually one of our sponsors, and as it happens, I went along and I had such a fantastic time. I said, hey. Why don't you guys come down and have a have a have a chat with us and um, well maybe we'll break out the guitar a little bit later and we'll have a little bit of fun. We have the guitar with us. Ready to go, yeah. No. We're tuned up, man. Brilliant, brilliant. Now the other two fellas uh, are stuck in traffic typically enough. Uh, it being Caterham, it being Croydon Road, it's not all that uh, unexpected, I suppose. Um, also, our email is broken, so if you have any any questions for the band. Um, Tough. Can't really ask them anything. Um, so anyway, we're going to start off. We're going to have a quick song by uh, Paul Ross. Now this is this of course is going to be our Irish hour. This is going to be our Irish half hour at least anyway. So uh, we're going to start off with a quick song by the Pogues called the Irish Rover, and uh, we get in. We'll start talking a little bit more about it then. Oh, sorry about that. I'm going away from the mic. Say. Um, it's a it's a bit of a fucker if you want to uh, talk about it the end of the ceremony. That's all I've done was I did the first uh I did the first couple of weeks. Probably the understand where you're at. Will I pick up all right for the guitar? Yeah? You'll pick up all right for the guitar. Um to be honest, I've absolutely no idea. We'll 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 see, we'll find out. <laughs> Now you'll press uh answer a few questions. Yeah, yeah, that's fine, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I should probably be asked, technically I should probably be asking uh, Brendan Lee himself, but uh, Brendan, Brendan Lee and Junior, isn't it? Uh, he's, well, he's the old Brendan's um, nephew, he's not, yeah, not his son, but he was named after Brendan. So right. our, our grandfather, my grandfather, Brendan's father, is Shane Lee. Right. So he's the one who didn't write anything or right. he wasn't involved in the theater. Oh right, <laughs> that's my son on Facebook saying, Dad, move closer to the mic. <laughs> <laughs> See, these kids are much more media savvy than Yeah, 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 very good. <laughs> oh, there. Yeah, well, I should have sneaked in a few beers, but I can take it off. Well, Hello, there is Mark, he's the chairman of Ridge Radio. I'm <laughs> oh, on reception of the chairman of oh, the boss. I can't believe I've just completely fucking broken this now. Must be online. Working online, online, yeah. I don't see. Would you like to go online now? Anywhere? I don't think so, sir. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we may get medals, we may not. Oh, well, anyway. Positive thoughts. Let's look at the right toys. I bought a list of the things we're doing. I don't know if you want to say or not. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah. Just, so the uh, festival, it's beautiful days festival. Really? Yeah. yeah. Um, actually, I've got a couple of uh, uh, I don't know, a couple of songs that you guys actually work with. Uh, 
Chrome Festival. Uh, oh, can I say it? You can walk here if you want to. Uh, 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 what is it? Chloe Irish Festival 2012. Yeah, I downloaded the actual MP3 and I'll look at the video. Alright, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's, yeah, there should be an entire thing where we did that. You were? I'm trying to think what we did there. Yeah, we had the full band there, the full line yeah, with yeah. films and... Okay. Um, yeah. Do you want to actually tell us uh, who Brandon Dean was? Uh, or what is uh, it's up to him. I do anyway. I only know what I got off like Wikipedia this morning. <laughs> uh, right. How about another 50 seconds before this guy ends? How about another 50 seconds before this guy ends? The Irish See if we can actually send the email. You sure if we couldn't uh, contact the outside world? Ah, uh, that was a classic Pogues and the Dubliners, the Irish Rover. You can't really have any type of a um, Irish night, any type of a, a traditional folk uh, session without at least one Pogues and at least one Dubliner song. So we've kind of got them both together there. Now, as you know, uh, unless you've just joined us, um, I'm John McCarthy and I'm here with the Brendan Bean Band. Um, they're a fantastic Irish folk band. They were off in the White Leaf Tavern last uh, Sunday and they just completely knocked the place sideways. It was absolutely great huge amount of fun. Now, two of them being typical uh, Irish people, but you know, not really, are stuck in traffic. And we've got one of them here, uh, Stephen. And, um, right, so Stephen, quick question. Um, why do you call the Brendan Bean Band and who was Brendan Bean? Uh, Brendan Bean, uh, old Brendan Bean was my great uncle, my grandfather's brother. Uh, obviously a well-known author, playwright, um, raconteur, drinker. Uh, as he described himself, uh, a drinker with writing problems. Um, and a couple of years ago now, uh, we, we were asked to go and play some songs at my auntie's 80th birthday. Uh, that was Carmel, who was Brendan's little sister. And um, I didn't realise they just meant I should go along and play a couple of rock and roll songs on my guitar. Uh, so I didn't know that was the case, so I went and learnt all the Irish songs for the occasion. <laughs> and, <laughs> And uh, so I got together with my uh, uncle Brendan, who is old Brendan's nephew, and uh, obviously the same name, and done a few songs and thought we should try and you know, promote the name and keep yeah, the yeah, name of Brendan yeah. and, and some of his legacy alive. So we, we play some songs uh, that Brendan wrote. Um, my cousin James is in the band, he, he recites some of the poetry. Yeah. And uh, we play songs that Dominic, Brendan's brother, wrote as well, because obviously he was a well-known folk writer. Very so good, yeah, yeah. Some, a lot of that, um, uh, that all, yeah, the, all yeah. those classic songs come from come from some you know connection to our family. So we had Dominic write a lot of songs. Now I know the old triangle is one of the ones that Brendan Bean Senior himself actually wrote. Well, it's a bit contentious that because he said himself really? that he didn't write it. Did he? There's a bit of an argument because <laughs> my my cousin Blanid, his daughter. Um, has been on a bit of an internet rant mm. recently saying that um, people have been crediting it to Dominic being. Right. And uh, she's been on a rant and saying, no, it's not credited to Dominic. Brendan wrote that himself. Uh, but in all, the, in all the recorded interviews with Brendan, you can look yeah. them up on YouTube, he says that he didn't write. He said he heard an old man singing it out in the street. That's quite surprising. Yeah. And decided to use it. Anyway, yeah. Brendan made it famous and is most associated with Brendan. And there's no money in it anyway, so... <laughs> 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 credit to him. I was going to say, I mean, really, do you get a, well, a, exactly. a bit of a... Um, Royalties on these no, sorts of things. Well, 
it was Brendan who made it famous, and, it, and Brendan who is most associated oh, with right, it. And it wouldn't yeah. have been well known if it wasn't for the for, okay. the, for the play to the queer fellow, obviously. Yeah. Um, which is right. Well, I'll tell you what. The two other lads have just uh, walked into the. Uh, the two other late fellas have just yeah. walked into the uh, into the studio now. God bless so, all here. How are you doing? I haven't turned on your microphone yet. There you um. go. <laughs> God bless all here. <laughs> Right, so what we're going to do is, um, now I've been looking at YouTube myself and <laughs> I noticed there's quite a few um, YouTube videos of you guys playing live uh, at the Crawley Festival at various different uh, places. I think there's a pub in Stretton um, <laughs> and lots of other great, lots, lots of other gigs, lots of other venues and so on. So anyway, I've, uh, should I admit I pirated one of them? Uh, yeah, okay. Yes, I, I, I pirated one of them and I downloaded Fantastic. it. And I'm going to play that right now so we can get all the microphones and whatnot plugged in. Okay, here we go. <laughs> right. Okay. Hello. Hello, mate. John. How are you doing? Traffic's murder. Is it? Right, that's not actually plugged in at all. That's, uh, that's plugged in there. That's plugged in there. Oh, now. Um, right. Who's that? I see you. No, it's you. Really? This is my first album. <laughs> um, right. Uh, I, th <laughs> I think you may have to share that one because unfortunately we seem to be out in chat. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, I'm going to play in just one thing, uh, when you're talking into microphones, get as close to them as possible. Uh, if, you're, if you're trying to eat it, that's absolutely fine. And, um, and no sweat. <laughs> <laughs> it's the sort of thing that uh, you really need to go to the Do you want to do what, you know what you're going to ask? Or you what? I do, I have a few questions. Uh, if you'd like to talk about anything in particular, plug in in particular, feel free to bring it up. Ask James at the origin of the band name. Uh, oh, I, I actually just that. asked Steve that. No, no, I didn't get that far. I said how we got together, but I didn't tell you why we were called. I got as far as why we were just called Brendan B. Oh, why the right. pig and whistle? Sorry. Okay, we'll, we'll, do, we'll do that then. Now. Sorry, that was my. I didn't get that far. What's that? Oh. Yeah, it doesn't sound too bad actually now just for a YouTube download. I think somebody did that on their uh, web, on their phone. Yeah. Um, oh, incidentally, I broke the email just before you guys came, so nobody's going to be actually uh, sending us any questions or interesting us. Oh, uh, so sorry about that. Get your mates to text you. On your 3 o'clock when you said I was Brendan's son or his nephew. I did say that. As far as we know. That's what you want to tell me. Did your mother tell you something? This is this is close to ending now, so we've got 20 seconds. I'm gonna bring in my belt. Like so, get okay, ready. The mics are going live now. Now that's the Branson Bean Band. Um, what's the name of it? That was at the Crawley Irish Festival. Now. Welcome guys, welcome to guys that was uh, uh, stuck in traffic. Uh, we've now got the full three, three complement of, of three here today. And um, welcome guys, hello. Good evening. Thank you very much. Oh great, the microphones are working fine. <laughs> Despite the fact we're missing one, uh, one headphone. <laughs> now, we were talking to Steve just before he came in. Steve, right? Yes. I keep getting his name wrong for some particular reason. I'm not sure why that is. And we were talking about the origins of the uh, Brendan Meehan name. <coughs> and I rudely interrupted Steve. We got halfway through. Uh, you guys came in and I decided to go to song. So, can uh, somebody pick up there why you guys called Brendan Meehan bad? Now, we know that he was uh, a fantastic poet and author. He, he wrote Borstal Boy. Um, he, he wrote a lot of short stories. He wrote... Uh, several plays, he was a poet, he was a fantastic all-around artist, a uh, real kind of salt-of-the-earth Irish yeah. fella, uh, good working class, right from Dublin city centre, can't get any more working class than that. So, why are you guys called the Brendan Bean um, Band? It's actually called the Brendan Bean Pig and Whistle Band. Right, why are you called the Brendan Bean Pig and Whistle Band? <laughs> I'll hand over to my son James to tell you the story. <coughs> uh, it all goes back to Brendan was, um, he liked to drink. 
Ah, uh, come on, who doesn't? You know? Exactly. And uh, he was in a pub in Dublin called the Pig and Whistle. So the story goes, whether it's a real pub or not, I'm not sure. But the um, basically, the gist of it is, he was a little bit inebriated, yeah. and uh, the barman wouldn't serve him anymore. <laughs> and he said, um, "Can I speak to the manager, please?" And the barman said, hey, "Well, that's me." So, well, "Can I speak to the, the the owner of the pub?" He goes, "Well, that's me as well." Mm. He goes, "Well, can I speak to Mr. Pig or Mr. Whistle?" <laughs> and that was basically, right, basically it was born from there. Right. We, we yeah. then, sorry, we then did, uh, it was my Aunt Carmel's 80th birthday, mm. and she asked Stephen if uh, we could perform, do yeah. some songs, and the DJ wanted to introduce us, and he said, what's the name of the band? And the Pig and Whistle was the first thing that came to me, my phrase, and that was it. Oh, very good. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, now, Stephen. Oh, sorry. You're over there with my guitar. Guitar. headphone. Okay. Got, got guitar uh, you know, well, sorry, we've only got two headphones in the, in the studio. We're looking to get brief and three heads. But, uh, and three heads. <laughs> um, sometime in the future, we're going to get that sorted out, but unfortunately, not today. So, oh, can I ask you one thing? In the White Leaf Tavern next uh, Thursday, there's going to be an open mic in karaoke. Are you guys going? Uh, we hadn't heard, but we didn't know. We, 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 we can't. That's a big advert. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a big folder of adverts here at Ridge Radio of all the sort of all our sponsors, all our well wishers, and all of our um, all of the fellows that we uh, we like to we like to talk to and hang out with. And uh, there's a big open mic. Open mic night. Well, we like we like, like, we like Tom down at the um, yeah. Oh, Tom is fantastic. Tom yeah. the White Leaf uh, yeah, is fantastic. Yeah, yeah, that's that's where I saw. We you noticed if he's drunk enough, you can sneak in and play, and he doesn't stop you. <laughs> <laughs> if you're, you're drunk enough, yeah. he joins in and sings. I was going to say we weren't actually booked. <laughs> He did describe me though as the largest leprechaun he's ever met. I, you know, I heard him say that. And I, you know, if you were specifically had an Irish accent, I'd be a little offended. At that. But, uh, as you don't, I think it's probably quite all right. I think it was the green coat you had on. <laughs> ah, that was it, all right. Okay, well, um, Steve, do you want to try and? I'm not sure if I'm not sure if the microphones are really going to pick this up properly. But would you like to just do uh, a, a little, little bit of a, a little bit of a diddly eye, and we'll see how it goes. Well, we'll do one of our favourites, shall we? Do? Yeah. But well, see if we can all start at the same time. <laughs> I'll make a change. Join in if you know it. Hello, you don't want no, to. I'm still talking to Brendan. Ah, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> As the light declines, I'll remember Dublin City in the rare old time. Rays on songs and stories, heroes of renown, the passing tales and glories that once was Dublin town. The hallowed halls and houses, the haunting children's rhymes, that once was Dublin City in the rare old times. Ring a ring a rosy, as the light declines, I remember Dublin City in the rare My name, it is Sean Dempsey, Dublin as can be, born hard and late in Pimlico, in a house that ceased to be. By trade I was a cooper, lost out to redundancy, like my house that fell to progress, my trade to memory. And I courted Peggy Dinan, pretty as can be, a rogue and child of Mary from the rebel liberties. I lost her to a student chap with skin as black as coal. When he took her off to Birmingham, he took away my soul. Ring a ring a rosy 
As the light declines, I remember Dublin City in the railroad times. The years have made me bitter, the goggle dims me brain, cause Dublin keeps on changing and nothing seems the same. The pillar and the Met have gone, the royal long since pulled down, as the grey unyielding concrete makes the city of my town. Bring the ring and rosy, as the light declines, I remember Dublin City in the railroad time. Anna Livy, I can no longer stay and watch the new glass cages spring up along the quay. My mind's too full of memories, too old to hear new chimes. I'm a part of what was Dublin in the rain. As the light declines, I remember Dublin City in the railroad times. Ring a ring a rosy. As the light declines, I remember Dublin City in the railroad times. Oh, lovely guys. One guy clapping, but hey, there would be. <laughs> I'm sure everybody, everybody in our Ridge Radio land is clapping as well. That's the I first, have to say, first time I've ever sang sitting down. Really? <laughs> I've never did it. No, I have to say that was pretty damn good. Something, well, something make or break. Yeah, there's no, there's no auto tune in the office. There's no. This um, isn't the X Factor. No, no, that was all voice. That was all talent. Now, you guys, you want to know how to book them, don't you? Everybody in Ridge Radio land wants They're to know how to book you guys. So. How do we do that? Uh, oh, actually, I, I, are you asking us? Sorry, I, <laughs> I, was, do, yeah. I was waiting to hear the answer. Don't get a free advert. But <laughs> <Sorry. Well, laughs> they contact me at Ridge Radio, and well, I get a twenty percent cost. That's uh, all right, well, fair enough. Um, so all booking through Joe in uh, Ridge Radio. <laughs> um, we're, we're a fairly laid-back band, as you can probably tell. Um, you, you can contact us through Facebook, it's probably the easiest thing. Brendan mm. B and Pig and Whistle Band on Facebook. And, uh, on Facebook. And it's run by our management company, Tam Jam Music. And okay. um, so, yeah, someone will contact you from there, it's probably the best. I, yeah. I'm, I'm known as uh, Ron Bacardi on Facebook. Ron Bacardi? But don't tell anyone. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it's Great. a secret. <laughs> now, you're also playing a few gigs uh, already. Uh, Beautiful Days Escort Park in Devon from the 16th to the 18th of August. Mm -hmm. uh, undercover at Beasley Pavilion, is it? Yeah. 20 to yeah. 21st. That's, that's, that's some of the guys that used to run the uh, Guildfest. Oh, yeah, right, yeah. It's been discontinued. So okay. okay. Uh, the Beasley one should be quite good, quite a strong Irish element down yeah. there as well. And of course, the next one, the Crawley Irish. Uh, and well, that, that's not official yet. Crawley, you've heard right. it here first, folks. Crawley you know Irish Jones Festival. like, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he told uh, me, told me Sunday we're definitely doing it, and uh, he was yeah. keeping, he was keeping the announcement as a surprise. Oh, oh so I might be happy oh, to tell us. That. No, you should tell us first. <laughs> Oh, right. Okay, well, so don't tell you heard about it. Probably, <laughs> if, if that, okay, everybody just keep that a secret. Just, be between, just between us, okay? Yeah, it's, it's well, everybody it. can attend it. It's in the Half Theatre on the 25th of August. 25th of August. Great gig, day it'd be out. a good gig anyway, mm, even, yeah. with, even without the Brendan being people in my sort of back. Defeatist. Right, so, now, Brendan being himself, he was an interesting sort of guy. Fascinating man, wonderful man. I found a quote of him, um, which I don't know whether it's true or not, but it says he was visiting Canada and he was asked by a reporter, what brings you to Canada, Mr. Bean? To which Mr. Bean is supposed to have replied, well now, 
I have a bar, I was in a bar in Dublin, and I had one of those coasters, one of those drinks coasters underneath it. And it said, drink Canada Dry. So I thought, I'll give it a try. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I've been waiting for half an hour to say that. <laughs> that's not worth it. That, that is, that, that is uh, true. It's that probably is. very true. Uh, yeah. Apparently on, on his deathbed, um, all the nurses were nuns. Mm. And he oh said, "Gosh, yeah, my oldest sons be bishops." <laughs> <laughs> oh, I tell you, when I go, I don't think I'd like to be surrounded by nuns. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, that'd be pretty dangerous. My grandfather, when he was on his deathbed, the priest gave him absolution, and he said to him, "You renounce, renounce Satan and all his works." Mm. And he said, "It's not a very good time to be making enemies." <laughs> <laughs> that is a very, very good point. Now, I have to ask you a couple of things about the actual band. You're in well, just Brendan Bean and the... No, Brendan Bean, Pig and Whistle Band. Pig and Whistle Band. Now, do you write your own songs? Stephen writes songs. Stephen writes songs. Yeah. We haven't included any yet. So. No. Do, do you have a CD? No, but... No. <laughs> <laughs> we're, typical we're, Irish we're band. Right? Typical, typical Irish not for band. profit organisation. <laughs> <laughs> Which means... At my, age, at my age, we'll probably make a cassette. <laughs> <laughs> Grand, okay, so we've got, we've got a couple of old eight tracks out in the car <laughs> <laughs> and a rebox machine. Bring them back, bring them back. <laughs> so, if anybody, wa if anybody wants to buy a CD, they can't. Tough. Not bad luck. We, oh, right. we'll, we'll, we'll come and sing for you, it's better. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. We, they, can do that, they can do that via Facebook if uh, they get in contact with we, you. We make house calls. I was going to say, <laughs> our, our, whole, our whole sort of ethos is. A, is Going back to the traditional roots of Celtic yeah, music, yeah. go and play around the living room, get mm. everyone to join in. It, well, even the other day at the White Leaf Tavern, mm. we saw we got people up to join in. I know, I was one of them. I'm um, sorry about that, by the way. And, and <laughs> I do recognise you. Uh, <laughs> and, and we're happy to sing other songs, whatever people shout for. Mm. Get off, you know. I know, you know, wherever, wherever they, wherever oh, they shout no, for. I we, we, um, surely wouldn't do that now. We, we, we're. Um, yeah, we like to promote that whole sort of family thing, mm. you know, people get up and do their turn. And, yeah. and the band's never actually, I'm, I'm trying to think, how many gigs have we done? About 15 or so? 22. Tw oh, well, oh, oh, 22 gigs. 22 gigs, and we've not played with the same line-up twice, I don't think, yeah. in any of those. That's true. We, there's so, some great musicians well, We have in the band. some fantastic yeah. musicians, absolutely mm. fantastic musicians who come along and play with us. Steve, Stephen is an excellent guitarist, he told me to say, because you saw what he did with the brick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know, yeah, no, uh, I, haven't, I haven't actually mentioned that on the oh. radio now. I did mention before you two guys arrived that uh, after the, at, at the end of the gig in the Whiteleaf Tavern last Sunday, uh, I was rather inebriated, and so was my uh, so was my partner Tara, and we were we were kind of milling around looking for things to do. Uh, we were a little bit bored, and we were a little bit hungry, so we were you know the band was packing up at that stage. So we went out, and we decided to have a chat with the lads, and uh, we went out to their van as they were packing up. And what does Stephen do? Well, Stephen, being what was it, the fifth Dan uh, black belt in taekwondo. Uh, in taekwondo, decided to say to us, uh, "Right, um, okay, you see this brick in the back of the van? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> you have a brick in the back of your van. I'm not going to ask you why." <laughs> but uh, he said to me, "This is a real brick, isn't it? This is an actual real brick." And I had a look at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And put it down on the ground, and he hit it hard with his hand, <laughs> knocked it in two. And I have to say. Uh, my girlfriend at least was very, very, very impressed. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm impressed as well. I think you've made. I think you've definitely gone to get a student out of her. Actually, uh -huh. uh, she's decided that she's going to sign up with your Taekwondo class fairly shortly. I think. Steve, Stephen also teaches Taekwondo. Yeah, he does. Yeah, yeah. I teach origami. Really? Yeah, That's not a martial art. You kidding? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is me practicing. <laughs> wow, that's a, that's a wonderful swan you just made there. Swan, it's an elephant. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Maybe a little bit more practice Actually, then, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> the only paper folding dad can do is the racing post. <laughs> <laughs> oh, have you got any tips? <laughs> oh, um, yeah, but don't I've got a so. tip for the Melbourne <laughs> Cup on the 5th of November. 5th of November, the Melbourne Cup. Somebody gave me a tip this morning. Really? Yeah, I can't think of the name of that. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> damn, damn, I think, damn, I think damn, it, was, it was Mount Aaron. Right. And apparently an English racehorse has never won the Melbourne Cup, but this one's going to. Right. Yeah. Come back. Don't go. Don't put the bet on now. 
<laughs> you do realise all the bookies are out to get you now. <laughs> oh, I think so. Well, you know, I'm an electronic guy, so I have my online account. It's in an anonymous name. Nobody will ever know what's going on. No <laughs> problem. I'm going to not Ron McCarthy. <laughs> not yeah, big exactly. radio, is it? <laughs> now, I'm sad you don't have uh, a CD that you can share with us, because I really want you guys to do well, because you're bloody talented, and I'd like to see you start making a little bit of money out of it as well. Apart from the old live gigs, um, make a CD for God's sake, will you? Well, well, you'll be the first to get one when we, yeah. when we get around. <laughs> Good man yourself. If we stop drinking long enough, we'll get into a studio. Hold on, did we'll you not know press it. record when we just sang that? Do <laughs> you know what? In actuality, I was going to go out to the front, to the office, to the front office uh, where our chairman is sitting right now, and I was going to say to him, hey, would you mind recording this so we can upload it to iTunes? I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Damn it! I'm so sorry. So oh, this is the live yeah. broadcast, and it's a once, oh, it's a once it. in a lifetime that's thing. It. Nobody's that's ever it. going to hear it again. Oh. <laughs> Can I say whatever I like? Then? <laughs> no, no, no. Because I'm sure <laughs> Ofcom are listening as well. And they, uh, can, can I say hello to my lovely wife Janet, who's listening, and my granddaughter Emily? Of course you can. Of course oh, you can. Hello to my lovely daughter. <laughs> 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 and I sh actually, I should say hello uh, to my wife Sarah and the kids, uh, to Lula and Tiger. You've got ninety Lee. kids. And Alfie, wow, 90. Alfie, who <laughs> just um, <laughs> when we just began a minute ago, texted me to say, "Dad, get nearer to the microphone." <laughs> 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 Thanks, Alfie. Oh. Can you have a job in Reed Radio? Oh, I'm sure you can, yeah, no problems. I could use a co-presenter. I just got a message from a friend of mine, are you on the radio? <laughs> <laughs> that's fantastic, at least somebody's listening there to us. Anyway, that's, 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 that's three lots of people who are listening to us. Four, oh, including us. Okay, yeah, exactly. <laughs> right, so let's go back to my list of interesting questions, right? Now, how do you feel about censorship? Weren't expecting that, were you? Well, <laughs> um, um, <laughs> in movies or in music? Now, in, in all seriousness, there was a, a famous um, piece of music called uh, Misha Era, mm. and it came out in the uh, late 60s, and it was actually banned. Mm. A piece of music was banned. I know, yeah. Oh, awful. Well, Ireland is fantastic. Okay, yeah. well, I don't know about the UK, but Ireland is certainly fantastic for banning everything they don't like. Everything, when I was everything a, they look well, sideways at. When I was a kid, you <laughs> used to get the news of the world, and they used to have black lines put mm. through it where it had been censored. Yeah, yeah. You know, in, back in the 1980s uh, in Ireland, condoms were illegal. Couldn't mm. buy them at all. They were actually mm. illegal. Uh, the sun was illegal because of the page three model on it being topless as well. But now, really, what I'm getting at, anyway, I mean, the, the actual reason I asked, asked that question is because um, I know a lot of Brendan Bean songs are rather nationalistic from uh, an Irish point of view. He was uh, he was a very national, he was a very patriotic sort of fellow. He, he was. And I'm just wondering, since you guys all have uh, wonderful English accents, um, <laughs> I'm thinking you probably don't have the same sort of issues well, that he does. Oh, I, well, yeah, we, we do. I mean, does, does, they does, were all, um, the whole family were nationalists. Really, yeah. From his father onwards. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But well, the thing is, my, Brendan's father, Stephen, mm. what was he, actually, well, his real name was Frank, but he, he was, was called Stephen. Anyway, I was <laughs> named. I was named after him. Well, Frank. Frank. But no, <laughs> <laughs> Frank and everyone calls me Stephen. Frank Martin. Oh, I get this mixed up now. <laughs> I have to James. say, it's a fantastic anyway, Irish yeah. name, though, my friend. Uh, <laughs> <there's>, um, <laughs> he, he dropped the old. But um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> my Tinezio. <laughs> but uh, anyway, Stephen Bean. Mm. Um, he wasn't against. English people. He was against what happened in Ireland. He, mm. you know, he, was, he was against the black and tans, and he was against yeah. uh, oppression of Irish people. He w but he was. He never had a personal grudge against yeah. the English. And someone interviewed him once, and he said, um, "You know, how come all your sons have gone to work in England? You yeah. know, with their nationalistic films? Because Dominic came out, Brian, yeah. Yeah. Seamus, yeah. Carmel, right. they, they all came over yeah. here." And mm. um, and Brendan himself worked yeah. over there. He was very yeah. happy over there. And um, Stephen said, "Well, look, they did all come to England." He said, "But I don't want you to think I sent them in a spirit of vengeance." <laughs> <laughs> ah, I see that explains it all right. <laughs> uh, a reporter said to him, um, "Why aren't you writing plays? Mm. You're producing, you know." He said, "I'm far too busy producing playwrights." <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, great yeah. man. He was but great man. Yeah. yeah, but he had no personal, and he had no mm. personal problems with English people. No, no, no. Um, oh, that's good. That's very good. And, and I think, in fairness, they were all 
more than being nationalist, mm. they they were all um, for working class people. You know, yeah. they supported They're the working class people. They're all held that. Yeah. yeah. But, but I think, I mean, taking into account that our, our, our audience here is Talbridge, so which is a deep Surrey, uh, very sort of heart of, heart of England, heart of Britain, I think it's really worth explaining um, that there is a huge difference between Irish nationalism and the type of songs, the type of kind of folk songs that we'd be singing, and, you know, all the sort of stuff we don't support, all the sort of stuff we don't want to, we don't yeah. want to talk about. Mm -hmm. Right. That's true, isn't it? Yes. Uh, we um, tend to stick with traditional folk mm, songs, but yeah. um, we know the others because my grandfather told me that. But yeah, I suppose it's a it's a form of self censorship. We wouldn't wish to yeah. offend anyone, and neither would but Stephen have or Brendan, big yeah. Brendan. You wish sing to, to see the audience. Yeah. yeah you exactly. you, can, you can judge your audience. M yeah. Music music is to bring people together and. Um, you know, well, Brendan appealed to an English audience as well. He was yeah. very well known over here. He appeared yeah, on New America. Party. He was well. Yeah. Stephen Bean was uh, on uh, Granada Television. When he, this is your life. This is your life. Many years. Yeah, he was very yeah. popular. Wow. He, he had nothing against English people. Yeah. Um, obviously, he was upset about the, you know, some mm -hmm. of the oppression and. Yeah. I think actually it was in his book, is the Borstal Boy uh, yeah. that he wrote. Yeah. He said something on the lines of that he was uh, very militantly um, nationalistic when he was a teenager, but he ended up doing time in jail and he kind of hung out a lot with English working class teenagers who were the same, exactly the same as him. And he just said, look, there's no difference between the two of us. Oh, well, 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 the same boat. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. That's good to know. I, I think what, what upset Brendan most, uh, probably came out in Boston Boy, was that uh, he was excommunicated. Was he? Same as his mm. father was, and yeah. uh, that terrified him because he was. He it always was said he was an atheist, atheist but he, he said yeah. he's a, a daytime Catholic and a nighttime atheist. And the other way, other way around. Well, <laughs> well <laughs> nighttime. Either way, <laughs> I know the feeling. Yeah. <laughs> and then when he was, um, the IRA tried him and mm. sentenced him to be shot in his absence. Yeah. So he pointed out they could shoot him in his absence as well. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, I think I'm going to have to remember that. <laughs> I really do. Now, I think we should have a song, don't you? A song? Uh, From us or a recorded one? No, no recorded one. Oh. <laughs> I want to go feed. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, oh, we're very open-minded. We don't <laughs> I don't need to watch, don't worry about it. As he doesn't go in the corner. Are you going to leave the studio? He's going to put the bet on the horse. <laughs> I am really, you know. If there's a horse running called Brendan, we'll back it. <laughs> uh, the old triangle. Now, oh yes, 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 yes. I came across um, a song called The Old Triangle. And it was written by ben, Benjamin Bean himself. Well, he says um, he didn't write it. Sorry, he Brendan says he didn't himself said he didn't write it. We're, we're, going, to, we're going to believe it. John Mick said he wrote it. <laughs> he no, no. Um, well, Brendan said he just heard someone singing it on the street. Oh, we've told you that story. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, you did, yeah. <laughs> um, this, actual, this actual song now is recorded by Luke Kelly of the Dublin. Oh, a fine. And it's a really, really good version. Yeah. It's an absolutely fantastic version. So let's, let's, let's hear that now. There we go. Wait, you're off the mic. I really do have to be. Sorry. Say more. Say more. No, you're not on. You can sing now. Right. Let's just grab a glass of water. It's a one-off thing. I don't know. the rest of it,
Interesting happening over here. <laughs> we seem to have forgotten our uh, headphones. Uh, yes. <laughs> if you try the ones that are plugged in, oh, <laughs> <laughs> dear, oh, dear. Can you hear me, mother? Right. You should be a bit closer there, lads. Yeah. Now, anyway. Okay, that was fantastic. And I have time to go pee. Now, what song are you guys most proud of? Is there any particular song you want? Can we talk about Luke Kelly? Uh, sure, sure. <laughs> if you like. Luke Kelly is the greatest balladeer. Irish music that ever was. I Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now, to be honest, I would be, I, I would, I debate you on that because there is also Ronnie Drew. Ronnie was a totally different boy. Ronnie, Ronnie was. Uh, uh, for those of you oh, that don't know, now I love him. Ronnie, oh, Ronnie right. oh, he was fantastic. I mean, he had an absolutely unique voice. It was described as a, a coke bottle being squashed under a door. I, I can believe that, all right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I can certainly believe that, all right? But Luke, Luke was a great. He was, yeah. Well, no, he was. <laughs> <laughs> we were good. You try, you, you, you try to you try to sneak that past me. Ah, right. <laughs> Trying to lead the conversation. <laughs> anyway, is there any particular song you guys really, really like? Uh, any, any, any one of the Irish folk songs that you have to get into absolutely every single set? Well, no. Some, of, some no. of them. Like I say, some of them are for different audiences. Yeah, you know? yeah. We, we have to. Some of them we, we bring in. I suppose well, the Foggy Dew is absolutely lovely, moving mm. yeah. song. Yeah. But no, I wanted you guys to play uh, Waltzing Matilda the last time we were ah. But uh, you told me it was mm. a bit too depressing. It was very bad. It's, it yeah. it's so sad. <laughs> we're we'll learning for you for next time. <laughs> could, could you pass the razor blade to me sing that song? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, I was actually, I, I can sing that. Yeah. Well, I can't sing it well. Well, go on, I think it's all right. Let's three of us sing it. Go on. <laughs> I can't sing. I can't sing it well, but I can sing it. Not not well enough to actually make fool myself on the radio. You <laughs> um, don't mind us making fools of us. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys are the professionals. You guys are the professional singers. Luke, <laughs> <laughs> <Right. laughs> forgive me for this. <laughs> oh dear. Um, okay. Well, uh, obviously we know that you're in favour of the whole concept of Luke Kelly. 
Not so much Ronnie Drew. No, 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 yeah. And he was, even he was the new boy, he was only in it yeah. for 46 years, <laughs> he was the new lad. And uh, I wrote to him, yeah. that's if we could do a song on him, he never got the letter so. Oh dear. And now that's he's disbanded yeah. the Dubliners entirely, yeah. so that's it. Yeah, yeah and it was, only, uh, it was only a couple of years ago now that Ronnie Drew did Last year? Well, two years ago Ronnie Drew. Two years. That's, that's a shame. shame. Uh, <laughs> Uh, sorry, we're, we're, we're just all being distracted by somebody looking in through the window. I know how goldfish feels. I thought you were going to sprinkle some food in the pub there. It was yeah, nice when... Um, I, 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 think that was, uh, I think that was somebody who might bring us donuts. I, was, I, was I, I might be crossed. wrong either, you never know. Fingers yeah. crossed, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Andy, so I've been no, distracted totally by wrong. the idea of donuts. Andy Carl, when we, when, when we used, if, if Andy Carl used to go and see the Dublin, as this is old mm. friend and sister, yeah. um, she used to go and buy a ticket because she insisted on you know paying her own way, oh, and yeah. then and then the Dubliners would see her in the audience and mm. send someone round to give her the cash back for the ticket <laughs> because they didn't ever want to pay for it. It's quite funny. So and there'd be a fight and we go, you will, no, what, no, you, you will, will, you will, 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 you will. will. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm paying for it. No, you. Can I mention the next time I'm going to your gigs, if I have to pay in? <laughs> no, I'm, don't worry, I'll, I'll keep an eye out. <laughs> just in case, just in case, yeah. yeah. So do you have any, any any other particular artists, apart from those ones, that you would say really kind of influenced the whole folk tradition that you're that you're singing about? Oh, I mean, obviously, uh, Brendan Behan is well, the, 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 the newer the ones. Um, yeah. Pete and John is right. the most wonderful songwriter, and he wrote Rare Old Times. Oh yeah, yeah. and with him and Phil Coulter, mm. I mean, they wrote yeah. all the best songs in the last forty yeah. years. Yeah, yeah. I don't. <laughs> and I was going to say, but also. So the other the other family connection, and we try and bring some of the songs in, mm. is um, Pada Carney, who's yeah. right, uh, who's soldier song, uh, yeah, oh, yeah, the soldier yeah. song, and various other yeah. sort of classics. He, he was a great writer, and he was already be old Brendan's. He, he uncle. was a uh, Brendan's uncle. No, he's right. Uncle, yeah. yeah, right. Not very good. Yeah. Uh, so we try and you know try and keep those songs alive. Yeah, and 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 a lot of those, a lot of those songs, really. I mean, Irish folk music is not exactly the most uh, popular of things these days. I mean, with the old hip hop and the pop music and the heavy yeah. metal and the whatnot, a lot of people are kind of going into the much more commercialised, uh, packaged um, uh, types of music. There was stuff with the auto tune, the stuff that. Mm. that I, I actually think mm. you're wrong there because um, now you do. Ireland's yeah. had all their problems. That's terrible. You should have well. never said anything about. You should have never said anything about Luke Kelly. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah, in yeah. trouble now, mate. <laughs> no, I, Ireland was heavily involved with Europe and embraced the European mm. ideal and they yeah, built yeah. all the new roads and they oh, were the good, computer yeah. building capital of the universe Absolutely. and now it's all fallen yeah. and now Ireland is, gonna, Ireland is going to go back to being traditional and the music will come back I don't and the old man yeah. no, I don't know about that now did it go, no, but, but did it ever go because I, I, I play various sort of styles of music I mm. play in rock bands and I write my own stuff and that Yeah, and um when when you're playing rock and roll music or even modern music, you have to work hard to book gigs. Mm. And as the Pig and Whistle band, yeah. we've never advertised. We, we get asked. Every, and when you go into a pub, anywhere, yeah. everyone becomes Irish. Yeah. You've never seen anything. <laughs> that like is it. very very strange. Well, you, start, <laughs> you start in a pub and you start singing those songs. And even the people who start off going, oh, I don't know about Irish music. Oh, yeah. didn't they all yeah. 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 the, the, the guy in the, the Union Jack t-shirt. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we've, we've, yeah. we've had that, we've had that. No, we, that was Pete Townsend. We, 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 had, <laughs> we, we had a guy standing at the front of one of the gigs, and he, he carefully undid his shirt to reveal mm. like a Brit, uh, 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 an England rugby shirt underneath. Yeah. Yeah. A bit. Yeah. And I just give him a wink, actually. I love um, <laughs> <laughs> but, um by the end of the gig, he was joining in. You start, you start getting people clapping along. You yeah. start doing whiskey in the jar and that, and oh, yeah. everyone joins in. Everyone's yeah. heard them at some point. Like you said, the Pogues yeah. are popular over here. I don't know. We've we've not had any hostile feedback. Uh, every every person we ever meet over fifty in a pub, new, new Brendan. Right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 
Or had a drink with everybody. Me. I, I, think, I think every Irish person. I, th I think the yeah, thing honest, yeah. that's what I was saying about our sort of inclusive mm. idea. And when we play, we encourage everyone to get yeah. up and sing yeah. and play yeah. and join in. That was the thing with Celtic music. It's is to it's entertainment. It's home entertainment. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. everyone's that's involved. That's every, history as well. Yeah, everyone yeah. can stamp their feet. You know, and you don't you don't really get that with hip hop. Or if you you know you listen to mm. modern music. It's, it's entirely um, projected upon you, isn't it? You, you're yeah, totally yeah. passive, and you just sit there yeah, and passively that's, listen. That's precisely my point, yeah. actually, as well, yeah. Well, so I, mean, I said that. What's <laughs> I making your point? <laughs> I'm sure I said that first. <laughs> no, no, you can have that one. Jay. No, Jay, you can have that one. But, <laughs> When well, no, I think, think of Luke Kelly, Steve. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think really, <laughs> folk music, Irish folk music, tells a, a story. It does. It whereas uh, hip hop and all the new it stuff does. is uh, yeah. it, well, it's it's just a passion. Yeah. But it, but it's but it is it's entirely yeah. a passive experience, isn't yeah. it? You, yeah. you might yeah you they sit there and they're putting their massive headphones on yeah. and they're, they're entirely closed and that's fine yeah. if you want to get away from the world and whatever. But yeah. our sort of music brings everyone together. And we get everyone laughing and joking, and yeah, if we make sure a mistake, we guitar. yeah. Or, or sometimes we, we, you know, we forget the song or play different songs yeah, from each yeah. other. And, uh, but everyone joins in, everyone laughs. It's Some, like, sometimes we turn up at the wrong pub. Yeah, <laughs> you don't get paid, but you have a fantastic time. Exactly, right? and everyone <laughs> enjoys it, and everyone asks us back. That's the other thing. So, but this is it. Yeah, I mean, I saw you guys. Uh, Literally, as a result of that, I said you have to come on to the radio show well, because it was, very nice. it was a fantastic, fantastic day. And I think there was maybe, excluding me, maybe three or four actual Irish people there. But <laughs> literally, about halfway through, everybody was up, everybody was jumping, everybody was joining in. There were people. There was no dance floor or anything like that. No. But there were people up in front of the <laughs> in front of the bar. Dancing away, happy time. It was a fantastic. And we, we always, yeah, it was a dog bark at the pub house. Yeah, <laughs> yeah <no. laughs> big dog somebody brought in. He, he put you off. No, no he, he was barking in time with the music. <laughs> <laughs> we brought him in as a special effect for the end of the Irish Road. Backing vocals. Yeah, yeah. But, um, but I thought he was actually quite good, to be honest. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Better than us. I was going to let him play the guitar at one stage. I'm sure he would have been able to do it all But, but that, that's generally, that's generally, the, um, that's generally the, the effect we have, or you mm, know, the, mm. the, the music has. I wouldn't say we take the credit for it, but that, that music, yeah. you know, you give people a chance to join in and that's absolutely stamp true. their feet. It, and it's you know. accessible. Yeah, you're absolutely right. It's the sort of thing that you can enjoy when you're Asian, you, when you're Asian, yeah. whatever, and you can... If you, if you don't, you go and do uh, karaoke or something like that. Oh, karaoke in the White Leaf Tower oh, Karaoke in the White Leaf Tower on Thursday. Oh, that was open yeah. mic. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, it's open, 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 open mic. It's open mic and karaoke. And open mic and karaoke. Uh, oh. I'm not sure which is the most predominant uh, aspect of the whole thing there. Um, open mic would tend to suggest there's somebody who actually can sing there. Mm. Karaoke would tend to suggest there's somebody who can't sing. Mm. Until they've had a few points. Until then everyone can sing. Exactly. Or once you've had a few points. Oh, thank you. <laughs> but the great thing with karaoke is the worse people sing, the funnier it is and the more entertaining mm. it is. You're absolutely right. Yeah. My, well, other, my, my other way. son David yeah. sang at a karaoke one night and the pub was they were on the floor. <laughs> it was so awful. And he got then mm. ten minutes of applause. Oh, <laughs> fantastic! Yeah. I, I expect to be doing something fairly similar, considering uh, if I'm allowed to go there, which yeah. I may not be after my behaviour with you guys last. <laughs> last it, it was only one brick, <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't even break it. Bloody hell! <laughs> you could have bought one of the rubber ones, you know. That <laughs> you know, I used to have one of those when I was a kid. I used to pretend I broke it. Okay. <laughs> Right, so what's next for you guys? Are you going to be continuing on this? Are you going to please release an album? Are you going to dedicate it to Joe Mack, uh, <laughs> the fantastic uh, radio presenter at Ridge Radio? Well, um, he, he encouraged you to do it, but nobody he, else would. He gave us our first tape of bank. <laughs> Introduce us to the where, world. Where we get to the album hall and send you a ticket? Good <laughs> man. Good man. <laughs> When you get to the next pub, you can send me a ticket either. Uh, Preferably yeah. if you can get oh, me in the yeah. uh, or, or more in keeping with the tradition of buy a pint. Yeah. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. I can't say, I can't say worse than that. <laughs> right, we've got five minutes and then we're going to have to go to the news, unfortunately. So would you guys like to, uh, 
Can I put you on the spot again? Go on. Go on. Can I put you on the spot? Would you, would you give us an audition song? What, what, what do you want? Do? What do you got? I don't know. <coughs> do you want a lively mm -hmm. one or a happy one or what? A bit of lively, a bit of lively to lead us into the news. Right, <laughs> how long is it? How long have we got? Uh, we've, we've got, got three got four minutes, four minutes, four minutes, four minutes. Quick, 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 quick. No, uh, <laughs> uh, I still haven't fixed the email, well, by the way. Wild Rover? No? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on one second, let me just get this mic. I'll just get the microphone pointing at the guitar. Just got to switch on the other. You got that? You got that? I'm going to switch on the auto-tune there. Yeah, yeah. Right, switch on the auto-tune, right. Brendan. Okay, and orchestra. Okay. Cue orchestra. I've been a wild rover for many a year. I spent all my money on whiskey and beer. But now I'm returning with gold and great star. I never will play the wild rover no more. And it's Uh, <laughs> only, only that one for the 5th of November, the Melbourne Cup. <laughs> I'll get the name for you and send it over. Yeah, we do. <laughs> <laughs> can, can we mention the um, Crawley Celtic Irish Society? Oh, you can. We young, uh, young John Nolan. John John Nolan, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, you yeah, absolutely do. Yeah. Uh, I had a really long, good conversation with him, actually, last, uh, last Sunday. He does um, like a chat. Oh, he, he, like he took me to one side and left me there. <laughs> oh dear! Oh dear! I, I, yeah. Oh, that reminds me. Actually, he is going to arrange for us to have the Rose of Tralee's London um, contestants on Bridge Radio. Oh yeah, yeah. our oh, oh, friend Grace. Very near future. Grace Kenny. So, Grace yes. Kenny. Oh, I'm not, we haven't asked. We haven't Beautiful actually asked her yet. Yeah. Uh, but hopefully she'll actually be coming online with us. Well, we won't warn her about you. No, no, no. I'll get you out of here. <laughs> you want me to everywhere. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to go to the news now, and we'll be back after that. Won't we? I hope so. <laughs> God willing. At the heart of 21 towns and villages of Tamridge, your community, your radio, Ridge Radio. 
Oh, oh your ear is set all right so far. Sorry, did we deafen your ears off that? Was that a tune into the guitar? No, that was absolutely perfect. You were kind of redlining there a little bit, but that's sorry, fine. Sorry. No, that's absolutely fine because I'm always telling you far too far, too far away from the mic. Uh, <laughs> should be redlining, and that's actually the first time I've seen it too. That's an only note can actually do it. I still hear Brendan now. Most people can. Um, right. Shall we do a recorded Black Velvet band uh, when we are back? Meanwhile, the GH. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, I might have to ask for the way to fix that. <laughs> so about the emails up the wall. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, it'd be nice if people could send things in, wouldn't it? Do you have a cup of tea now? Yeah. Oh, is that what? Yeah. Yeah. Turning to other news now, and a headmaster's paid tribute to two students who died after being struck by a passenger train in Hertfordshire last night. An 18-year-old man and a girl aged 15 were killed outside Elstree and Borehamwood Station. It's not being treated as suspicious. A new approach to tackling online child abuse images has been agreed between technology and the government. It's going to be a new role for the Internet Watch Foundation, which will actively seek out and block the material. Okay, leave that. I'll have to look at it when I've got more time. Just, oh, fair enough, fair enough. I just if you, if you happen to know there's any. No. Well, that was the news. Uh, we're going to be back fairly shortly with Brendan being the Pink and Whistle Band. Uh, they're out having a nice tea break now. So, what we're going to do is uh, play um, a song with Black Velvet Band, which was recorded by Brendan being the Pink and Whistle Band. Um, and, um, yeah, let's, let, let's hear that now. What is that? Where was that? Uh, Crawley, I think. Crawley, oh. I've ripped it off you, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wait, is that it? Is that the famous one? That's the fucking 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 yeah, you liked it, what put it Oh, yeah, 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 we did that. Yeah, 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 with the same sort of medieval-looking outfit. Yeah, yeah, um, I did. And if you want to know this song, do you want to know this song? What do you want us to do? What's the... Um, yeah, uh, as long as you guys want to know, you know, I'm not going to be able to I feel that while we've got everyone on the side. I've just said a phone call for you, I love it! Okay. Is it Did you say that Joe was shy? Did you say that? <laughs> Probably there, Joe. Yeah, that's a very... She said that Mr. Matt's a lovely man. Ah, sure he is. He's a very encouraging. <laughs> um, yeah, so, I mean, it literally it depends on how long you guys want, I guess. I don't mind. It's called the answer. Steve, Steve, what time do you have to get away? Um, probably about half five. That's right. Do you have a podcast? Or has it just gone out there and it's out yeah. there? I forgot to pass record. I fucking forgot to pass record. <laughs> it would have been brilliant as well because we've got an, we've got an iTunes store, an iTunes podcast store. But they've uploaded that and it would have been fucking brilliant. And I forgot. What are you doing? Never mind. Oh dear, oh dear. Nice. Should have got the lunch for a bit of a Sorry, what? Should have got the lunch for a bit of a minute. I have to have you back. <laughs> nice. A minute and a half, this is going to be finished. I have to think of something interesting to say. <laughs> I can't believe I fucking broke the email. Jesus. It's the first time that ever happened. You know I'm a 19 years old. Oh, man. Have you tried turning it off and on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they can't. So, what, you've got no network? Yeah, it's, it's, it's just. It's, it's telling me. Oh, my God, it's working! Do you present, huh? Oh, hey! There you go. Really, I'm funny.
Hello, dude. <laughs> it's me, man. This is all calm. Oh, well, that's, that's, um, yeah, make so skinny, make so skinny. Oh, yeah. Nick Moriarty, a cracking band, these guys, and mad bunch of, and a mad bunch. How did he get under, blisters? Yeah. <laughs> He's asked if we can, but if you mention undercoverfest.com. Oh, yeah. Undercover fest, what's undercover that, that's, that's the undercover the festival, the that's the one, the busy one, the busy. That's our, that's our oh, management. Yeah, yeah. Our, okay. that he's our, he <laughs> runs our management company, <laughs> and, he, laugh, laugh, and, laugh, and he plays our baron. Plays and he found his blisters. <laughs> Every time we do a gig, he goes, "Look at that, another blister." <laughs> oh, I started recording. Uh, started recording. Okay, well we're going to be on live in eight hours. Oh. <laughs> Right. Apologies for the poor quality of that particular recording, but that was the Brendan Behan Pig and Missile Band live uh, uh, playing Black Velvet Band, and I do believe it was filmed on somebody's phone. <laughs> <laughs> now, we the, fixed the, email. the interesting thing actually, going back to the point, sorry to interrupt, but, uh, yeah, right, right. going back to the point we're just making, when you listen to those um, recordings, the YouTube recordings and that, you can actually hear the audience singing louder than us. Yeah, on, yeah. on nearly all of them, which is nice. <laughs> I noticed actually, uh, I think it was that particular one, I was listening to him earlier before, I, you know, before we uh, started and uh, I'm fairly sure there was, a, there was a lass with a very strong English accent saying something in the, uh, saying something in the foreground yeah, yeah. gave us a good sort of, um, uh, what do you call it, festival feel to the whole thing. Now, Ridge Radio Land, my god, we've fixed the email, yay! Hey. So, you can email us right through at studio at ridgeradio.co.uk or you can uh, go to ridgeradio.co.uk and can use our handy little uh, form. Um, it says on our little form that uh, you have to uh, request a song. You don't actually have to. You can use that to um, tell us anything you like. Tell us that you love the guys, you want to book them straight away. Uh, you love me, you want to book me straight away, whatever you like. <laughs> Nothing too personal. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing too personal because my girlfriend's probably not <laughs> <laughs> now, we have had an email already uh, from Blisters O'Ham. Now, I have a feeling that might be a bit of a made-up name, wouldn't it? <laughs> it does say, a cracking band, these guys, in a mad bunch. Sounds right. So there's some positive <laughs> feedback <laughs> <That's already>. <laughs> we, have to, we have to admit, he actually gets his blisters from playing the Baron for us. So ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. He, no, he gave it away. He's no, actually sorry, the connected no. with the band, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, we've we've never, never met you before, have we, mate? <laughs> Uh, blisters. <laughs> that's how I knew how many gigs we did, because Mick's got a blister for each one. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's a good way of checking, I suppose. <laughs> right, um, so, let me ask you an interesting question. When are you going on tour? <laughs> well, 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 we've got four festivals. We, 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 yeah, we've got a mini tour, I suppose, yeah, we've got, we've got several festivals. Uh, three, is it three confirmed? Yeah. A uh, fourth confirmed. one in the pipeline. Right. Um, and one's a two day event. And obviously, Ooh. we've got a big event. We've booked for a big event in um, Ireland this is really? it September. Yeah. We've Do tell us about it. No, that was, that was one of yours, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, well, we're also <laughs> undercover busy. You were drunk, weren't you? The other <laughs> <laughs> oh, bloody hell! <laughs> you remember oh, now? Oh, man, I just remembered. Yeah, yeah, oh, we, we, oh, we've, we've booked the holidays and everything for that. You, you were going to fly us out first class? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Do you know, there's no actual uh, first class in Ryanair anymore. Oh, uh, right. To the listeners who have no idea what I'm talking about, uh, apparently, well, my wife, my, my wife, almost, my fiance hey! and I <laughs> went out uh, to the White Leaf Tavern uh, over the weekend and we were talking to the band and apparently uh, my fiance has decided that uh, we have to have a proper Irish band playing. We've already booked somebody else. I was going to say, if they don't turn up, we've been. <laughs> you was just help, help and they can do the next If you one. can't get a proper Irish band, then... Ah, uh, yeah, what's the point? <laughs> there will be the second best. I think apparently she was quite impressed with the whole concept of the Irish folk music. <laughs> <laughs> it seems so. Well, and the whole breaking the brick afterwards. Right. Just oh, the that is part off. of the show. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, oh, you've been to an Irish gig before, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when they say bringing the house down, it's mm. literal. It, it is actually smash smash the house up. Yeah. There's, there's no houses in Ireland <laughs> over in about two years, and then you know why. Really. We, we tend to start off a, a gig in a pub asking if, how many Irish are in. 
Mm. There's, there's more than two, there's enough for a fight. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. That's a terrible thing to say. <laughs> you want to go on some of the pubs we've played in. Ah, no, fair enough. Oh, oh, we got another email. Our email is working. Hey. Uh, oh. Oh. Your son. So <laughs> <laughs> healthy. Oh dear, okay. No, we do have lots of people uh, who are interested oh. in, uh, in, in talking to the band on right? um, <laughs> They're bloody good, for God's sakes. <laughs> it's nice that his family writing in, <laughs> other <laughs> members oh, of the band. I know, I know my mum is listening, and I know she'll probably... Is she going to email us? That'd be lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Emily Absolutely. being, you better be emailing right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. I was going to say, now, anyway, uh, can I post a recording of the show on the Facebook page? Can I? Yes, yes. Go for yeah, it. As, long, as long as you pay the royalties, <laughs> <laughs> and that's going to be uh, that's going to be your your eighty percent, my twenty percent, uh, your management company's twenty percent on top of that, and uh, I think Bridge Radio will probably want to take another ten percent on top of that. Right, right. Alpha, that's, Alpha, that's, that's, you can't afford it. <laughs> <laughs> that's more than a hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wonderful exactly. thing in education. <laughs> oh, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, let me think of something interesting to say. You guys are going to be with me only for another 20 minutes, so um, anybody out there in Ridge Radio Land, if you want to ask any questions whatsoever, you're going to have to do it within the next 20 minutes, otherwise you're going to lose your chance. Now, I was going to, I was going to upload this to uh, our iTunes uh, store, our Ridge Radio iTunes store, but I forgot to press the record button. So unfortunately all of that lovely music is gone, um, I could start recording it now, but uh, Unfortunately, the machine is outside, so ah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the wonders of modern technology. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, Would you ever think I'm also an IT consultant? Ah. Do you want to hire me? No. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, let me ask you something that's, that's fairly sort of uh, generic musician, uh, but it's also a very good sort of question to ask. Um, what song are you most proud of? That you guys have actually written and performed. Uh, presumably that Steve has written. Oh, we haven't performed any of these yet. <laughs> um, no, this is this is like a, as a separate project. Not, I have yeah. had um, I, I have had some stuff, uh, sorry, published, mm. and um, one uh, uh, we got um, like honourable mentions for written folk music. Yeah, but we haven't really with the Pig and Whistle band. We've just been doing the traditional music, yeah. and then mm. we need to, we need to get our finger out and write some stuff. I suppose everyone expects it of the B and family. Yeah. That we should all be. Yeah. Writing songs and that, but um, uh, yeah, we've still got 20 minutes. Well, we're, we're, we're not, <laughs> we're not summing up. <laughs> up. I'll yeah. tell you what, I'll, I'll crank up the MP3 player. And, uh, oh, do you know what? I just remembered I actually set a webcam up there. Um, uh, no, up here. Oh, it's in there. Oh, there, there, there. <laughs> so it's uh, let me have a look and see what it's recording now. Oh, it's actually, it's actually quite good. I can't see it from there, but it's, uh, it's, it's got a nice shot of uh, two, two shoulders. shoulders. There you go. Um, so I don't know if it's recording the sound properly or not, but you never know. If it does, I might stick it up on YouTube and get off something else. <laughs> you have a to our interest in the radio. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Uh, I suppose, I suppose we, we, you know, we're most proud of keeping the being name alive, and we, you know, oh, yeah, we're, we're yeah. very proud of our. You know, Brendan and, and what he did, and I think he was a, yeah he was a good he was a good man. That's why I, I don't we don't like to harp on about the nationalist thing or mm. he really wasn't anti English. That was yeah, another thing. It was it, being pro up. Irish didn't yeah. have to be anti English. If you said me, yeah, absolutely. I mean that, the only reason I brought that up now was because of the fact no, that in really England and a lot of English people it, yeah. does, they don't really actually understand that they don't really understand that folk music, Irish folk music, it doesn't have to be anti English. No, it can be about just the celebration of um, music and music, history. dance, yeah. culture, yeah. and that culture can be working class, it can be middle class, uh, can't really be upper class now. <laughs> <laughs> um, it can be English, it can be Irish, it can be German, it can be whatever you have. Yeah, yeah. It's just about a happy yeah. time. Yeah. Uh, somebody good. said to me, as, as Brendan Bean's nephew and Stephen Bean's grandson, why did you marry an English woman? And I said, a spirit of revenge. <laughs> <laughs> oh I don't dear. think Dan appreciated that. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, anyway. Now, will you give us another song? Yes. Uh, I'm no. very conscious that there's only 15 minutes left. No, I don't want to keep harping on the time. No, no, we But I'm very conscious there's only 15 minutes left. And you guys are fantastic singers. And 
It's all on rehearsed as well. It is all on rehearsed. Well, actually, I don't believe you. I think no, it's no, it is on And a blue, a blue microphone. <laughs> you could have got a green one. Yeah. Um, well, actually, actually, no, we don't really rehearse, do we? We're not, we're not, we're not, we're not we always, we always, we always need to rehearse now. Yeah. <laughs> um, is there any particular song you would like? Um, the, the, the well, you know, I love Walter Matilda, but no, oh, don't, don't play that. <laughs> it's, too, it's too depressing. Let, let, let me think now. <laughs> Let's hold uh, on to the two uh, listeners we've got. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alfred and Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> Now let me let me look at my Pogues collection. No, uh, do you dare. Uh, oh. <laughs> what's good? What's good? What's good? Ragman Road. Uh, we played we oh. played the Irish Rover. I'm gonna say we've played the Irish Rover. <laughs> you know, I, I haven't done anything much more I, than sit here and smile. I, so. have, I have to say, Brendan Brendan's version of Raglan Road. It's absolutely fantastic. You should hear that. That sounds I like. Uh, uh, you should I hear don't know if it will be on a blue mic. That's it. <laughs> Can we get a green mic cover for uh, No. <laughs> now this is That's the land of radio. Oh, thanks. A green mic cover. There you go. <laughs> I just pop that on there now. Lovely. On Raglan Road Of an autumn day I saw her first And knew That her dark hair Would weave a snare That I might one day I saw the danger and I passed Along the enchanted way And I said let grief be a fallen leaf At the dawning of the day On Grafton Street in November we trip lightly along the ledge Of a deep ravine where can be seen The words of passion's play The queen of hearts still making charts And I not making hay Oh, I love too much, and by such, by such, is happiness thrown away. On a quiet street, where all ghosts meet, I see her walking now. Away from me so hurriedly. My reason must allow That I have loved not as I should A creature made of clay When the angel woos The clay he lose His wings at the dawn of day I gave her gifts of the mind I gave her the secret sign That's known to the artists who have known The true gods of sound and stone And word and tint without stint I gave her poems to say With her own name there And her own dark hair Like clouds over fields of May Ah, there we go, lovely. Now the requests are flooding in. First one, 
Band as brilliant as ever. What do you want for tea, Grandad? <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. I'll have a curry. Oh, fair <laughs> Great show. Why not get James to do some poetry? How about it? Can be done. Who's that from? Uh, Graham. Oh, that's somebody who doesn't even know this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a, a little poem. A little poem we do uh, before McGalpines, and it used to be done by Ronnie Drew. It was in the year of 39, when the sky was full of lead, as Hitler was heading for Poland, and Paddy to Hollyhead. Come all you pincher ladies, and you long distance men, don't ever work for McAlpine, for Wimpy, or John Lang. But they'll stand you behind a mixer, till your skin has turned to tan, and they'll take it on your paddy, and put you both fair in your hand. How the crack was good in Cricklewood, we'd never leave the crown, with bottles flying and biddies crying, sure Paddy was going to town. Oh, mother dear, I'm over here. I'm never coming back. What keeps me here is the rake of beer, the ladies, and the crack. <laughs> I come from County Kerry, the land of eggs and bacon. You think I'll eat your fish and chips? Ah, oh, Jesus, you're mistaken. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Oh, do you know what? I actually love some cabbage and bacon right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've just read no, that. Never mind the curry, Emily. We'll have cabbage and bacon. <laughs> Irish thing. <laughs> I just realised you Graham is actually work with you. <laughs> it's not just a random fan. No. <laughs> next, next request uh, from Blisters. Is that Blisters? Oh, oh Blisters, I hand again. Oh, yeah. 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 Full band are playing Beautiful Days Festival, Dorset and August. <laughs> and playing playing in Surrey at the Undercover Festival, Bisley in Surrey. Okay, you said that already. And we are looking at another gig uh, back at the White Leaf in S White. White Chief? Wheat Chief. Wheat Chief. Oh, that's a different place, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, and sorry soon. Rhythm section are writing some reels and jigs. Yeah, but I do that. That sounds interesting. Uh, we, we have a, the, the full lineup for the band is um, a wonderful accordion player, Jenny Henderson. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, she, she is fantastic. And uh, whenever she can be with us, that, that's really good. Yeah. Uh, Elfwyn. Yes. A player. Yeah, that's true. Look, we do actually have a, a seven-piece band. So the three of you here, are the core members. We're, we're, we're with Glenn Ingerfield, Blisters, Blisters, yeah. uh, Jenny, uh, Dan, the fiddle player. Yeah, Dan. Dan, Dan, our fiddle player, is absolutely outstanding fiddle player, oh, and yeah. Alfin on the fiddle as well. Yeah. As uh, yeah. I say, we never have the same lineup twice, really. Yeah. Oh, very we, good. We, but but they're, they're, they're the regulars mm. and the best. Well. And if anyone else out there fancies coming over and play, then obviously. Yeah, yeah. Feel ba great. banjo player in particular. I'll, I'll come and play. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I, I play the. I, I play the. the and we're not doing more <laughs> <laughs> um, Somebody's requested. Alf, Alfred. Uh, Alfred has requested whiskey in a jar, but it's too bad. Uh, we don't have any time for another song. Uh, we don't have time. Uh, I don't think so. Um, um, Sorry, yeah. Alfred, I'll probably not get out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're giving away all this. No, let's see, we're sorry. <laughs> Al Alf, can you use an assumed name? <laughs> um, I mean, whoever you are, Alfred. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, dear. It might not be the same Alf. No, it could be. No, no. Sorry for now. I mean, we're, we're not tracing these sorts of things. It could be handy at all. I mean. <laughs> um, we have a Facebook page. We do have a Facebook page. Well, we don't have a Facebook page, but you have a Facebook page. And it's uh, facebook.com slash Brendan Beans Pig and Whistle Band. So in yeah. case anybody wants to go and have a look, that's where you book the band as well. Yeah, definitely. Uh, oh, yeah. 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 That's, that's yeah. interesting. Traditional Irish folk songs from the nephew of the Borstal boy himself. That's, yeah, a pretty yeah. good, uh, that's a pretty good website. Somebody, you know, the lads themselves, they didn't tell me this. Uh, just. Um, Somebody emailed this through, and anyway. you see they're fantastic at uh, promoting themselves. T t typical <laughs> Irish band, they're fantastic at promoting themselves, i.e. not at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. We're, we're in it for the music. We're in it for the yeah. music, and there's nothing better to be in it for. Oh, anyway. absolutely. Yeah. Uh, right, so, I've asked you when is, when is your first album going to be, and you won't tell me. Well, whenever, you, whenever you're bothered. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go with some point. Have you got any studio space we can use? Uh, well, <laughs> actually, when you're finished here, we'll just we'll do it. Yeah, what, what time does the show go off? Uh, Make sure you press record. Show's going on until 7 o'clock. Uh, <laughs> Not unfortunately. No, 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 no,
He said that. It okay. sounded very Wogan-esque, that. <laughs> <laughs> So, I'll ask you another question from my list of questions, will I? Go on. I will. What would you do if you weren't being a musician? I know what you'd do, Steve, because you'd be a ninja. <laughs> <laughs> he has got a black t-shirt, I'll give you that. <laughs> James and Brandon, what would you two be? What do you, what do you, what do you two do as well? Uh, right, I'd love to write. Really? Yeah. And okay. history, history, I love history. In the Borstal Boy sort of tradition. Nice. Yeah, but I only got to jail as well. <laughs> <laughs> From a distance. Yeah, yeah. Nice to be on the outside looking into sort of things. How about yourself? I have no idea. <laughs> to be honest with you. So you're um, you're, you're a full time musician then? No, 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 no. Well, I I work in um uh, how do you word it? Sort of security departments, looking after that sort of thing. Oh know? right. Uh, Concierge services. Oh very good. So I'm not a bouncer then. Uh, have been. Really? Have been, yeah. 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 We, we, we were five star bouncers, you know. Yeah. Teach, Steve was trying to teach him how to break a brick. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he got to a small Mars bar. <laughs> <laughs> we, were very, we were very polite bouncers. We wore dinner suits and, excuse me, sir, where would you like to land, you know? <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, I suppose it's a five star service. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you can expect that sort of yeah. stuff, yeah, absolutely. Uh, there's a great story where uh, we were in a outside a pub in Chichester mm. and I'd just done a gig for a company called S&H and they do all these effects and everything they gave us two big black puffer jackets yeah so we had them on and we happened to be standing outside the pub waiting for somebody and this coach full of little old ladies joined up mm. and these 83 year old 40 women came up to the pub and said yeah is it all right if we go in so we had these big black jackets oh I said no I said you look like trouble to me <laughs> That one, you know. And no. she said, I said, well, you can go in, but I'll be keeping an eye on you. <laughs> and they trooped in, it was me and him with a Do you know, I think that's really, that's, that's the fun thing about the Irish countryside, is because you always get a group of middle-aged uh, ex-nuns who want to uh, <laughs> enjoy themselves. <laughs> who want to enjoy themselves. A last flick. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, here's, here's, here's another question. Now, if you didn't have the lineup you have, who would you have on the band? And you can't have Luke Kelly. Oh, that is Ronnie Drew. No, <laughs> yeah, you can't <laughs> have Ronnie Drew either. Uh, I'd have uh, Kieran Book, John Sheen, Barney yeah. McKenna, Ronnie Drew, and, and Luke Kelly, Kelly. And Luke Kelly. And I'd sing yeah. back of vocals. You reckon? I, I'd just oh, go I'm in the audience. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh I'll dress as Artie Carmel and sit in the audience and take the money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a bad plan, actually. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Right, so I think it's about time for a song then. Do you guys want to play one last song? Go on, let's go with the old in the jam. DJ. Who did you oh, yeah. You've got to do the percussion then, Jack. Right? Uh, I don't know if I'm... Drumming on the There's table. There's actually though. a hell of a lot of very, very expensive Oh, yeah, don't yeah. drum on oh, it. Oh, yeah, don't drum on it. Most of it doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, right. Right. Whis whiskey yeah, in a jar. I can't hear the guitar. Now, that's, 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 that is a... Uh, that's a request for Alfred. Oh, we've got another one. Oh, oh another, another request. Don't play whiskey in the jar. <laughs> In fact, I uh, should uh, <laughs> Somebody, somebody, Steph, somebody, somebody wants to come and play the kazoo with the band. Oh, right, that's that's my my dad plays the kazoo. He plays <laughs> a mean kazoo. Fair enough, it does. Right, right. I can't hear the guitar. Listen. All right. Can the guitar go? It, it'll go through the headphones. Can you hear that? Yes. All right. Sorry. Right. All together. As I was going over, he does this thing. We do two different songs. And <laughs> that right. is a problem. We're we starting to get as professional right. musicians. That's that's kind of I'm a problem. I'm going to play round one, so I'll play. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Brendan unplugged his headphones as well. That was the first thing. <laughs> oh, I see. It's actually easier to sing if you can hear the guitar. That's <laughs> oh, well, sure. oh, well, well, that was good. That was good. Thank, thank you very much, lads. There you go. It's oh. all about the fun with us. <laughs> it is, yeah. No, I mean, it doesn't have. It's Irish music. It doesn't have to be perfect. It has to be <laughs> inclusive. <laughs> well, no, no. Now, all we want to sing. <laughs> what, what do we say? Before now, before we before we um, before we finish up. Now, your next gigs. Tell me again. Uh, uh, next gig is the, if uh, somebody wants to come out and visit you. Where can they go? Well, if they can get on to uh, Jody, she's christening her beautiful new baby Rowan, and we're playing at the christening party. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> what so it, if, if both your listeners want to come along, very <laughs> well. be more than so welcome. Got a along. <laughs> this is something that they'd have to charge uh, admission for, right? Or would it actually be a free? No, no, no. no. no just, just if it's only the two of them, we'll bear the cost. I'm a bit concerned. Uh, this will Crawley's be the next one. Crawley. It right. is. So Crawley well, is... Well, John Nolan hasn't officially... <laughs> unofficially, it's <laughs> called... John, John, if you're listening to this, can you make it official? Oh, no, there's business. <laughs> okay, so we're not going to be cooperating, are we? So, uh, <laughs> we'll have to go to facebook.com, Brandon Behan's Pig and Whistle Band. Yeah, yeah, and as soon as we know anything, we'll tell you. Yeah, but that's fantastic. <laughs> I, I, um, we'll tie it around the brick and throw it through your window. <laughs> we, we, brick, yeah. brick first, would you? Oh, oh yeah. We generally, um, yeah, we generally find out about the gigs, you know. The night before. That, that night. <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah. right. Oh, fair enough, fair enough, yeah. So, it, well, de it depends on the listeners. <laughs> um, right, okay. Seems we've, we've run out of interesting emails to talk about. Oh, yeah, well, right. thank you very much, guys, for coming in. Thank it's you. been an absolute been bloody pleasure to have you in here. I have to say, uh, you're great fun. Thank you're you some of the best, uh, you very much. some of the best music of Irish folk musicians I've heard in a very, very, very long time. Bear in mind, um, ladies and gentlemen, it was a blue covered mic. <laughs> we, we sing better on the proper mic. Yeah, For the yeah. love of God, would you please reduce the Forget CD that. and bring it in to me as well because I want to play it. Right, we're going to do that. Yeah, Excellent, we will. We'll try and get the whole band together in the same room yeah. at the yeah. same time. Why not? And uh, yeah. There's not room for Jenny to do the accordion. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a good plan. So I'll be looking forward for that. Uh, yeah. Thanks, Joe. Okay, good lads. Well, a little ripple there. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> what, what, what a band. What a band. What, what a presenter. <laughs> what a band. You could be on absolute radio. <laughs> well, as you know, hear it uh, on Ridge Radio, we have, um, we have the most unique content and we have the best content all over Surrey, all over Tandridge, all over 21 towns and districts. 
Thanks again, guys, for coming in. Um, I think it's about time we all had a nice cup of tea. Uh, some hobnobs, uh, which don't appear to have been eaten at all. <laughs> and um, right, for our listeners at home, I think I'm going to play a bit of Pogues. Uh, sorry about that. Yeah. Um, this particular song is Streams of Whiskey. Oh, written and about Brendan himself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's what I want to play. That's why I have it down. That was seamless, Jack. That was absolutely seamless. What a link into that. <laughs> <laughs> and then we had a song about Brendan. That's a mate. The it world of radio. <laughs> it took you him might, an hour and a half to get might, this far. You might, you might think that this is just thrown together. But no one knows No, it. no it's wonder he gets 250 <laughs> grand a year. <laughs> God, <laughs> if anybody wants to donate to me, uh, no problems. <laughs> right, thanks again, lads. Thank um, you. <laughs> that would be. Please, please uh, say no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll be allowed to go down the pub now, right? <laughs> no, I know you have to go to work and things like that, don't you? Uh, yeah. I'm, yeah, well, I'm off to teach now, yeah. so if any of my students are listening, I'll be there to um, come back to the YMCA. Jam, put the kettle on, I won't be long. <laughs> yeah, Grandad wants his tea. Ah. <laughs> okay, well, thanks a lot, guys, and here are the pogues. Oh. Uh, oh, really good show, guys. I'm so fucking sorry I completely forgot to record it. Oh, that's all right. Well, that's I might have recorded it. I didn't know we were going to sing because. Yeah, we could have oh, put some words. Yeah, put some words. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, plug your headphones. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, no, actually, that might have been the problem. Look, is that just broke? Look. Oh, is that not working at all? Oh, 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 that's oh, that's oh, 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 so fucking hungover. <laughs> after after the session on Sunday, Tara had to take my phone. I was at home and I had the I had the phone switched off. I did not want to talk to anybody at all. Oh, Sorry about that. That's a good move, yeah. You guys have to come back again at some point. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. 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 yeah, we have to see you in the CD. Yeah, we'll uh, just get something down. It's we'll, do, we'll, to, we'll have to do some original stuff as well. I want to do a CD of, of um, Ireland mm. history through song. Yeah, that's a brilliant song for me. That's a brilliant song. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you've got some great yeah. stuff. Right up the piece in time. Oh yeah, I'm sorry I broke the email, otherwise we well, might, well, we well, might well, have had well, more people coming in and talking. I didn't realise Barack Obama around. <laughs> oh, oh his, they are actually, do you know where uh, Michelle Obama's actually got on the phone? Do you realise what's called tea? Nah, um, I've got a head back. Oh, oh, do you really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. So I'm going to have to change that song. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. How long do I have? Charles, How long do I have? Uh, Very good. Okay, I have 24 seconds. Sorry, Brenda. It's okay, I'll put it in. Nobody can see you guys. Anyway, do come back. Um, Lovely to see you guys. Anyway, do come back. Um, I have to change this thing. Well, that was the Brenton Bean band. That wasn't the Brenton Bean band. That was the Pogues. Uh, streams of Whiskey Lyrics, which was actually written about uh, the original Brendan Bean. No, that was the Brendan Bean band that we had in for the last hour and a half. Now, we, they were supposed to be in for half an hour, but we had so much fun, we kept them much longer. And unfortunately, they've now left the building. So, we're back to the regular old uh, boring show. Oh, so boring now. <laughs> but uh, they're going to come back and they're going to record a, uh, they're going to record a single, just, uh, they're, going to, they're going to record a CD just for me. So I can play it on Ridge Radio, and you guys will be the first people to hear it. And that's a cross. I promise I might not be able to keep, but it's a promise anyway. Right, uh, we'll have a little bit more poems, um, and then we'll change the tempo, and we will uh, play something else. Uh, once again, this is Joe McCarthy. <coughs> After that in a while. Uh, you're listening to Ridge Radio. Uh, if you want any particular... Uh, uh, requests, if you've got anything you want to talk about, 
Um, if you want to know what uh, these fellas Facebook pages again, uh, feel free to email me through studioridgeradio.co.uk. Um, they're a fantastic band. Um, hope to see, I hope they'll be back again soon. Now, okay, we're going to uh, we're going to play the pokes. Here we go. Yeah. 